Welcome to this chapter of Abacus Math. Today we're going to learn numbers going all the way up to 1000. Thus far we have learned that each column represents a particular set of ones. So let's say this column is ones. This would be tens, hundreds, 1,000, 10,000, 100,000. Now since we're learning numbers till 1,000, we're going to stop here. So as usual, by now you must be familiar with the different number positions. Let's say number 1 is represented right there. Four is represented like that. So let's go back. This is one. Now, if you wish to show ten, go to the tens column. Hundred is in hundreds column, and thousand is in this is represented as 1000. So now if we're going from 1 through 1000 so 1 and that's 2 and that's 3 and that's 4 and that's 5 and that's 6 7 eight, nine, and ten. Similarly, it's eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. And then you can go up till twenty-nine, and then you get 30, 40, 50, 51, 2, 3, 4, 55, 6, 7, 8, 59. That would be 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 121, 131, 141, 151, 161, 171, 181, 191. That's 199. There is 200, 300, 400, 500, 501, 502, 503, 504, 505, 555, 655, 755, 855. <clears throat> I'm sorry. There's your 855 and there's your 955. 
and there is your 1000 so similarly 1001 there is 1011 there is a 1111 and you can go on to practice all the different positions of the beads and the numbers that's 444